Uh, I think I'll read a little bit from a recent, dis a recent book published three or four years ago called Left Under a Clown. Beauty, solitary, sober. The world that prisoner's gigantic flake of joy and sorrow swims in a sea of rose dark light before the slaty shade of its sodden feet marked in sand. In the unsettling west, we think our fellow creatures perpetually in danger of losing their dignity and value because of their incapacity to resist the temptations of drink and sex. But things get miserably done. Listen to the leaves of the city, and you can hear the thundering tread of life, lit, compelled, and led. Immeasurable tapers below, drawing the sun to its disappeared rest. To a reader, I forgive the mountain of silence which you spill in my ear because I fill it myself. I forgive the meals you eat out, the fields, the material, the sunny afternoons and the happy hours. But more I forgive you for going the way you go. I forgive your mind made of clouds and tied with a leather will. I forgive the cotton in your wet hair. I forgive you your determination. And I'll forgive the lid of your secretest reasons as I forgive the world its thousand problems. I'll forgive even that you cannot speak. But what I cannot forgive, what it is impossible for me to forget, is how you awakened me. It is treacherous and I have witnesses. A dog, a camp, the dawn. It is this that I cannot forgive. Because if I did, if I forgave that, it is certain that I would forget it. Anemic cinema, which is a famous phrase and, 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 and work of Marcel Duchamp's, you know, anemic cinema is a, you say anagram? No. It spells the same thing, right? right. Anagram? Is it anagram? <coughs> anemic cinema. But this is really just a lift from a uh, great Humphrey Bogart film called The Barefoot Contessa. If this paisano asks me to move over or get out of this coffin, I go back to the streets. If Diana calls, I'm not here. I could never figure her. The world's number one figure, and nobody wrapped her up and took her home. Some people have to be happy because they're nothing but rich forming on little roofs around some little royalty, the pretender is king, though his wife is English and a commoner. They rule the international set. You figure it, I can. It was one of the smaller casinos, kind of late. We'd finished gambling. We hadn't eaten together since lunch. Every night is like every other night. Off screen, you never laugh. Next to another, you have the body of an animal. More of the same for the king. Is the gigolo known to anyone? It is a born medicine. It kills pain. I feel terrible charging my customers for gas. Come on, Charlie, get behind the wheel. Welcome to the bombs. She looked at me for no more than a beat and a half, but I knew that I would remember her as long as I lived, if I lived that long. When I got to Rome, I decided to get to work. She was the bride on whom the rain did fall. She would be trousseau shopping. I know now that C was filled with a moaning uneasiness, realizing finally that she was what other women were not, and vice versa. The girl wanted nothing more than to wait until they heard about this in Santa Monica. Well, as you can see, they have insisted on this bare face. In an ancient chapel, Witnessed by a handful of strangers under the bridge, the bride gave the groom the customary finger. 
Nobody could tell me that it was like this when the Borgias got married. There was more going on inside the place than out. Virago was the pastry cook, great but unspoke. I listened for a message above the rhubarb, but it was crazy. I've forgotten the Spanish for Cinderella, but have a glass anyway. I saw her just once after the wedding night. Twice, really, but the second time she was dead. She wrote the book on broken marriages. First time was exactly a week ago. I was holed up in my hotel room doing some writing. She hadn't driven there in a rainstorm not to get a look-see. There are some things which must be said sometimes for which there may be no words. How much more like a dream can a dream be? For a contestant who don't drink, that's cognac. You are proud, but it's time to wake up. First it's bologna, then it's stuffed birds, tampons, now cupcakes. Suppose he doesn't see it your way. You have your baby anyway, in a hospital in Benghazi. His body is blown apart in an explosion. If you read the report, you understand how only some parts remain. And this is why she has never been able to love anybody else since. Child of Faust. Whether veins of muck play school-like, the swarthy dreads of lost anarchies, and balk upon submission with a stamp, whether next door to ecstatica, a freckle surfing in a drift of hair owns twice the reed bop at the arch and scrolls a bunting on the bed. Whether an apocalypse of Earth's great confiscation of clock tea, cup tea, time breaks all the withers. Whether scotchy dandies roof the rubble with a Quebecois of Lenin all pristine in Lyric Nature's film revival day. The generosity of the second sense of sense but glozes in a swoon of big return, none other than the great cool beating wood where berries pile up unswerving to the end. This is from a book called uh, Left Under the Clown. This is a book on, uh, on uh, tradition, uh, progression, language formation, uh, canon formation, and uh, experimental poetry, called Titular. Oh, Permian blast of the Caucasians, buckle your butt, depend your belt a brim with well whiskey, bombs, grommets of civ destiny, globe tempo, and malabute raves, because it is a cause, all right played upon shears, which ruptures the duplicates to be recombinant. Impossible, perhaps, to increase the Earth's weight, but not its radius. Even the history of literature will be weight-worthy. Take that hireling over there, for example, just another pre-sold member of an avant-garde between covers, his finger on his pin, the one put up for the spot this season. One jiggle of the rear, and the impinger is erased. Then I'll finish this and then we'll take a break. March Ample Life. <laughs> Methought I saw my late live in theory crossing the fireplace like a train. For the headless horseman is bald in the grave where the hair grows long. And Maud was the androgene without a club on the path to Willie Beach. Dear George, the attitude was glued, myopic, and is a myopic clue. Dear Lesbia, dyslexia lives. The schizophrenics clap for their son up. What is the name of your parrot? We'll call it carriage for two. Squeak, dear parrot, sing, etc. A number of songs, etc. Losery town where Mad Tom lives, whose lungs are fucked by God and such where signal fires code aurora, referring to just another ducking lake at the edge of sleep. The deathless equestrian sees her namesake 
singing his hunger as one spell signs for another, sorting out this endless fragment of sky, the curtain has hung on our roots. Thank you. But we'll take a, li a little break. There's something to make back there. And I'm going to show a bunch of really sorted uh, pictures. Are we talking five, ten minutes? Five, ten minutes. I mean, how much you need to go to go and do that? <laughs> <laughs>